I'm gonna start my in cab inspection. Make sure my seatbelt properly must keep to the truck. Bottom, top and bottom. My seatbelt is not ripped, torn, frayed. And make sure it works properly. Latch and a latch. And they start adjust it to me. Next, I'm gonna do, uh, start my, um, Jesus. my emergency equipment. I have an extra fuses for a fuse box. I have a three DLT triangle reflectors. They're properly mount secure, no crack or broken. They're clean and operational. I have a fire extinguisher. By properly mounted and secure, no cracks, no breaks, no leaks. The fire extinguisher is full. The pin present, it's no spire, and it's past DOT inspection. Next, I'm gonna check my, my door handle, make sure the door open and close properly. Then my mirrors, the left and the right, they're properly mounted and secure. They're not cracked or broken. They're clean and adjusted to me so I can check the track, the trailer and the traffic on the sides. Then I'm gonna check all my windshield all my windows, make sure they're properly mounted and secure. They're not cracked or broken, they're operational. Then the windshield is clean and no illegal stickers. My wipers and the wiper blades, properly mounted and secure. No cracks, no breaks, the cut, no cuts or dry rotted and they're pressed against the windshield. Next, I'm gonna do a safe start. On this automatic truck, I'm gonna First, open the key to check my AVS light. My AVS light, it should come on and off the cluster and the trailer. So the, the trailer, make sure that the lights comes on and off. It's working properly. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna press my service brakes. Make sure I have a neutral. My brakes are applied. And I'm gonna say, do a safe stop. start by <coughs> my steering wheel there's no excessive play no more than two inch play on a 20 inch wheel this is my city horn and my highway horn they're working properly my left turn signal my right turn signal my four-way flashers they're working properly now I'm gonna check my foot my, uh, my wipers and my washer fluid is working properly my lights and my high beam with the blue indicator. Now, I wanna check all my gauges. My oil pressure gauge, the normal operating range must be between 40 and 60. My water temperature, the normal operating range must be between 172 to 10. My RPM gauge, when I accelerate, make sure it goes raise up. My mile per hour gauge, I use when I test my service brakes. My battery voltage gauge is working properly between 12 and 14. My fuel gauge, I have a half a tank fuel and it's good for this for this trip. This truck is not running with def, so there's no def gauge and there's no def tank. No running with def, no def gauge, no def tank diesel emission fuel. My air brake gauge is between 120 to 140 when my governor cut off kick in. Okay, next, my heater and my defroster. My heater is working for the floor, the floor the defroster is working for that windshield. Next, my brake valves bottoms, no cracks, no breaks, no leaks, and my parking light indicator is working, make sure it goes up, okay, so now I'm going to start my brake test, so number one, I need to push to supply air pressure to the system, number two, I need to, I need to feel my air pressure to 120, I need to accelerate,
motor off working properly. So next, number three, I need to turn my motor off. So remember, number one, push your brake balls. Number two, you need to fill your air tanks to 120. Number three, which is next, motor off and the key on. I'm gonna do three brake tests. Test number one, I'm gonna apply the service brakes. I'm gonna wait for the pressure gauge to settle down. The gauge is settled down and I'm gonna start count. I'm gonna check for leaks. I should not lose more than four PSI in one minute with the brakes applied. So it's one minute, now I didn't lose no more than four PSI in one minute. Next, the second brake test, at 60 PSI, I need to check the lower pressure warning alarm. The lower pressure warning alarm came on and the buzzer at 60 PSI is working properly. Next, between 40 and 20 PSI, I'll check my emergency spring brakes. They need to apply, they're gonna pop out. Keep an eye. Okay, my emergency spring brakes, they pop out, they apply between 40 and 20, and it's working properly. Next, I'm gonna do a safe start. Make sure it's in neutral. Apply my service brakes. I'm gonna accelerate, I'm gonna wrap the engine. I need to have 120 PSI.
the truck is not moving my trailer brakes is working properly now I'm gonna release both of them and I'm gonna drive forward make sure I'm on drive I'm gonna check my speedometer and my service brakes so I'm gonna move forward a little bit I have to move like 50 feet 15 to 20 feet ahead and then I'm gonna check my speedometer and my service brakes make sure my service brake work properly my steering wheel don't pull to the left to the right to the left the brakes are adjusted evenly adjusted and that concludes my income inspection